We are going to talk about homework four. Um, I want to tell everyone this will not be the last time you see this problem. Okay. Um, meaning, like I think at some point when you're in college, assuming you study some kind of biology, computer science, you're going to see that problem again because it's a pretty good problem. Yes. So the problem goes like this. Uh, You have some one by one tile that comes in four colors. So for the purpose of this, um, we are just going to for, call the four, four colors A, B, C, D. You, no, you actually need to use four different color of whiteboard marker. Hmm? You no, really no. need to get four different color of whiteboard marker. I actually, no, five. You need so five. there are some one by two tiles, okay, like this. Uh, that comes in five colors. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to call the five colors one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, so the question is about AN. If we define AN to be the number of one by N tile design. Uh, that you can make, okay? And we want to find, basically we want to find the formula of uh, AM, okay? okay? It has different parts, but basically you solve this problem. Uh, so I'm going to ask Naomi, mm. how many different ways can I make a one by one tile? Four. Four, okay? So this is easy. So you have A, you have B, you have C, and then you have D. So next, we want to make one by two. Isaac, how many ways are there to make one by two? Five. Five, okay. So I assume you mean this five. I assume you mean this you mean this five. Okay. This is one, two, three, four, five. Did we miss anything? Yes. Yes. What did we miss? Combinations of one by one tiles. Okay. And how many are those? Sixteen. Why? Four to the power of two, I think. Okay, so I'm not going to draw all of them, okay? <laughs> but it's basically A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, B, A, B, 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 C, B, D. Okay. So it's uh, plus 16, so there's 21. So the interesting part is, um, begins here. If we want to make a one by three tiles, um, I'm going to ask those who have not attempted the homework yet. Uh, Naomi and I say, how would you make a one by three? What's the easiest way you would make? A one by two and a one by one. Okay, so take one of this 21, and then you add one in the end, right? And how many ways can I make it? So take the 21, and then you said for each of those, how many can how many how many choices do I have by adding one more? Four. Four. Okay. So that's four. So the eighty-four. Mm -hmm. Um. So visually, what else did we miss? Three one by one. No, because three one by one would be one of this and then one in here. So it's already part of the eighty-four. Right now we're doing a 2x1 and then a 1x1, one one. so if we do a 1x1 one one and then a 2x1, is that different? Yeah. Okay, so um, that give me a specific example. Mm, let's say A, uh, A 1x1 one one and then 1. And then 1, okay. Why, uh, let's just kind of describe it in simple English. When we construct this 84, take the 21 and then we add one in the end. 
why is not why can why can't this be created in that process? In the process of adding a one to the n, a to the n. Yeah. Why? Why? Why can? Why cannot this? Why can't this be created in that process? Because now you find a new variable on the location of the two piece. Because right now the two is only always in the front and in the back. But you right now you're only adding it. To and the can you give me another example? What else did we miss apart from a one? B one. B one. C one. Okay. D one. And then same thing for two, three, four, five. Okay. So I'll uh, try to describe the answer that uh, I was looking for. Because when we construct this 84, we construct it by adding a 1 by 1 in the end. Mm. So there is a class of this 1 by 3 where it doesn't end in 1 by 1. It ends by 1, point, 1 by 2. Mm. Okay. And the way to get this 1 by 2 is actually take a 1 by 1. And there are 4 of those. And for each of those, I have five different ways of adding a one by two in the end. So therefore, I take a one by one, which is four, and then I add one of the five one by two in the end. So then this is one by four. Now, uh, Isaac, I'm going to put you on the spot. So I want to do uh, one by four. How would you construct it? One by two, I got one by two. How many, so if I repeat the process here, uh, one way of doing one by four is if I add a one by one in the end, or I add a one by two in the end. That's, that's the only two possibilities a one by four can add. Mm -hmm. Either add in one by one or add in one by two. So for those that are n one by one, I take this 104, and I add one of the four one by one in the end. So how many are there in total? 412. Mm -hmm. no, 416. So it's 104 times four. We missed another class. Those are the ones that ends in one by two. And then we, can you think of how many of those are there? Ends in one by two. Oh, one by two. Sixteen times five of those? Sixteen times five? No, uh, twenty-one times five. Oh, twenty-one times five. Okay, so now this is basically our procedure. Whenever you want to construct the an, like a by n many, you first take the n minus one, and we know there are a n minus one any. And then you add one of the four one by one in the end. Or for those that end in one by two, what you do is you take one of the one by n minus two tile, one of one of the one mi one one of the one by n minus two combination, and then you add one of the five one by two in the end. So this is basically the recurrence relations. Johannes? I found it more uh, like intuitive if you, instead of like, instead like if you kind of go backwards, like say if you want, say you want to accomplish a one by five tile, mm -hmm. then well, you can kind of build it, but you can uh, build it from, by adding like a square to a one by four tile. Or you can build it by adding a domino to a 1 by 3 tile. Okay, which is the same, except I did not know 1 by 2 is called dominoes. Good call. <laughs> uh, if I know yeah, that, 1 by 2 is called domino, that, that, I think that's, I would that's be able to describe it a lot easier. Set. That's literally what the question okay. So uh, the rest is basically similar to the previous homework. Uh, we use the characteristic root method. method. The first, you basically move this to the same side. <coughs> And then you write the characteristics equations. Uh, you can use lambda or you can use x. 
And I remember at the end of last year, which is a long time ago, I gave you all a frustrating answer. Either you know how to solve it or you don't. Uh, basically, when you stare it long enough, then you know minus one is a solution. Five is also a solution. Well, you can just factor it. Yeah, but not everyone knows how to factor it. That's good. You, you should teach that. It's actually very simple and very useful. So these are the two roots. Uh, so because of that, using the characteristics if, uh, method, you basically s know that this is uh, A, 5 to the power n, plus B, and then minus 1 to the power n. And then you substitute the initial condition. So A1 is equal to 4. So that means 5A, n is 1, and this minus B is equal to for a2, which is then 25a, 2 is this plus b, is equal to 21. Uh, and I'll skip several steps. Uh, we all know this is solvable. After you solve all of this, uh, you realize a is, I believe, 5 over 6. Yeah. a is 5 over 6. B is 1 over 6, and therefore, AN <coughs> is 6. Okay. I found there you wrote, uh, for the third line of that four line sequence, you should have wrote A2 instead of A. Ah, oh. yep. Thank you. This is A2. Good call. Okay. Uh, so this is for the homework. Again, I just want to guarantee all of you, assuming you study some kind of science or engineering computers, uh, you will see this problem uh, again. It's a very common, popular problem. Which one? This problem. About... Or a variation. 